Well, hello there, friends. You're listening to Mastering the Task Exam with me, Mr. Abe Tasconi. Today's task science lesson is the water cycle. Here's today's test tip for the task exam. Don't put yourself down or think negative thoughts. Instead, anytime you feel like you aren't understanding a concept or start to feel like giving up, immediately tell yourself you're brilliant and you've got this. Remember, competence is key. And just so you know, I believe in you. If you ever need an affirmation on how awesome you are, drop me an email. I'll be glad to remind you. So today we're going to talk about the circle of life. Oh, no, wait, that's not right. Today, we're going to talk about water bicycles. Wait, yeah, no, that's not right either. Oh, yeah, now I remember. Today, we're going to talk about the water cycle. So the water cycle is the continuous movement of water, both above and below the surface of the Earth. It's also known as the hydrologic cycle. The water cycle begins when water from the ocean and other bodies of water evaporates. Evaporation is when liquid water becomes a gas and rises into the atmosphere. Things like air pressure, wind speed, and temperature determine how much water evaporates out of a body of water. When water evaporates from leaves of plants, the process is called transpiration. The water vapor from bodies of water and plants rises into the atmosphere and starts to condense to form clouds. Fun fact time. A cloud can weigh as much as an airplane. Now, a cloud is really just a mass of really tiny water droplets, or ice crystals, that float in the air. As more water droplets come together, it gets really crowded, and the cloud gets heavier. This leads to good old precipitation, which is rain, snow, sleet, or hell that falls from the clouds to the ground. Some of the water absorbs in the ground. This process is called infiltration. Some of the precipitation collects on the ground and runs down and returns to the ocean with the help of rivers and streams. This is called surface runoff. Sometimes surface runoff is produced from melting snow. When this happens, it's called snow melt. Once the surface runoff returns to the ocean or other bodies of water, the cycle starts over. And that, my friends, is the water cycle in a nutshell. All right, friends, you know the drill. Watch this video on a regular basis to make sure you keep the information that you've learned fresh in your mind. Also, Feel free to click the link in the description box to take my Quizlet for today's lesson. Oh yeah, and one more thing. If you want to stay up to date on when new videos for this series are added, please click the subscribe button. The series will cover all five subjects for the task exam. On that note, I'm so glad we can go on this journey together. Stay safe, friends, and keep on studying. I'd like to thank Chris Matthews for providing the music for this program to Valerie Jeffers for co-producing, to Marion University and the Blue Umbrella for making this series possible, along with all the other teachers, townships, and adult basic education programs who help inspire adult learners reach for the stars. Mr. Abe Tasconi is the alter ego of me, David Taylor. If you have any questions about the task exam or if you'd like to try some more of my quizzes, please email me at tasktestquestions at gmail.com. This has been a Jeffers and Taylor production. See you next time.